The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Let there be light indeed. Congratulations to the town formerly known as Barrow in Alaska. The sun did rise for the first time since, get this, November the 18th. Now, the sun was only up for about an hour or so, but they're moving in the right direction as the daylight will increase more quickly in northern Alaska here from this day forward. All right, for us here locally, we're tracking a couple of showers. There's nothing extreme going on right now. A lot of what we're seeing is just very, very light showers out across portions of Franklin and Pennsylvania counties. Areas right now uh, just to the south of Rocky Mountain, maybe even southern portions of Rocky Mountain, seeing a couple of showers as are folks in and around Gretna and Chatham seeing a couple of showers and then those those uh, showers do extend a little bit further east into portions of Halifax County right along Highway 501 where we are seeing a couple of showers just to the uh, west of South Boston. Now as we uh, show you the warm and rainy trend ahead, you need to know that tomorrow's rain chances are going to be a little bit higher than today. Okay, uh, about a 40 to 50 percent chance for some scattered showers tomorrow. But the best chance for rain tomorrow comes in the afternoon. In the morning, we're just going to have some drizzle around, and we could even have a little bit of fog around, too. But notice in the afternoon, again, a slightly better chance to get a little bit wet. And then the widespread rain comes more into play for us as we head into Thursday. Thursday, I think, is going to be probably the wettest day we have this week. Please make sure you have your umbrella handy on Thursday, as it is going to be, again, a very, very wet day around here. We may actually close out the storm system Thursday late day into Thursday evening with a chance for a couple of thunderstorms out across areas south of 460, especially towards the south side zone. I don't think anything's going to be severe, but you could hear a couple of rumbles of thunder in Danville and also into South Boston. Temperatures here at 519, 47 in Hot Springs, 46 in Withville, lower 50s in Roanoke, 48 in Danville. It's 50 as we speak in Lynchburg. Jetstream lifts to the north, and that means we're going to see a nice little warm up here as we head into the latter part of the work week. Each day gets a little bit milder, especially from tomorrow on. Wet weather returns too, so we're going to be warm and wet here as we close out the work week. And you need to know with temperatures uh, getting close to perhaps 70 in a couple of areas, say near south, Side, uh, we're looking at it feeling more like April outside. But the question becomes with us being so warm on Friday, we're going to break any records. Well, the numbers to beat 78 in Roanoke, 75 in Lynchburg, 76 in Danville, and 71 in Blacksburg. The answer is no record breakers, but temperatures will be about 15 to 20 degrees above average in most every zone but just not record breaking as we head into Friday for tonight. We're going to have milder temperatures. It's going to be pretty cloudy outside. Can't rule out the chance for a couple of showers, but tonight doesn't look overly wet with lows tonight in the 30s and 40s. And the reason we're going to be a little bit milder tonight is because we have the cloud cover around. Now the clouds act like a blank of insulation, kind of deflecting any warmth back down to the surface. So the calm winds are going to uh, allow us to be rather comfortable outside, but not a whole lot of heat is going to escape into outer space because of the fact that these clouds are going to prevent that from happening. That's why we're going to be a little milder. Now for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, scattered showers around high temperatures tomorrow, mainly in the 50s and 40s. Now in that extended forecast, you'll notice temperatures do rebound into the 60s Thursday and Friday, 50s Saturday, Sunday, but we fall into the 40s on Monday and Tuesday. Almost every day for the next five days, there's that rain chance. I think by next week, we may turn a little bit drier and a little bit brighter, but just know Thursday and Saturday look to be the two wettest days for us.